медиа джунгли. Imagine embarking on an adventure like no other in the heart of Ecuador, deep within the Amazonian jungle, also known as La Selva. Many consider it one of the most captivating journeys this country has to offer, and they are absolutely right. If you like it to spend 10, 5 or even 3 days there, you can go deeper in the iconic rainforest. We had one single day to explore this incredible wilderness. Join us as we pack this day with unforgettable experiences and emotions, immersing in a one-of-a-kind, a bit scary, but magnificent Amazon rainforest. Our day kicked off with a visit to Wildlife Rescue Center, where incredible stories unfold. Here we encountered magnificent creatures, some of them were once captives of entertainment industry, but have now found freedom. Others were nursed back to health from traumas or diseases by the tireless dedication of volunteers. The goal is to return the animals to their natural habitats where they truly belong. <laughs> This remarkable center operates on donations and visitor fees, and it's teeming with life. Jaguars, ocelots, tapirs, caimans, colorful parrots, toucans, and many, many more graced us with their presence. And we really hope that one day they return back to where they belong. Даже с указателем вот этим все равно ну, смотри, вот не, эти совершенно утки не это видно. Еда для анаконды. Утки ну, какие утята. утки? Вон там утята. Вижу, вон там утята ходит. За, за бревнышком. Ага. Ну вот там за, за кустиком спряталась, спина слегка блестит. Yeah, I saw the nine meters long, but the local people saw the twelve meters. That's very big. They live in the water, but they have a cold blood, they need a sun to keep warm, they come up from the north, High, from the water, above they, the water. In, in the trunks, yes, on the, on the ground also. Can it attack people? Yeah, maybe, children can hit the children, some children can go to swim in the rivers, they, they disappear. Cool. Yeah. <sighs> people from here use for cooking, we have for lunch, they, they, they rub the fish, yeah, in the banana mm -hmm. leaf, and they use for cooking. Have a lot of protein. Yeah. Does it taste better than Tasty? it smells? Yes, of course. When you fry, when you fry. fry yeah. Так, Мишечка сейчас будет трогать червяков. Ну ладно, вкусных съедобных личинок. Ой, это прям дюна какая-то зарождающаяся. Какой ужас. Но он говорит, если пожарить, очень вкусно. Deep fried. Много протеина. Короче, хорошо обжаренный. Народ закусывает, а мы выпиваем. Most of the time the weather is rainy here. Well, it's rainforest after all, and it's called that not by coincidence. And now we're taking a boat ride along a rain-soaked river. Sounds tranquil, right? Well, it's not when you're sitting in a dugout tree trunk canoe, racing down a fast-paced stream swollen by the tropical downpour. <laughs> you know, we didn't film anything during the ride, because the only thing we could think about was Oh my god, please don't flip over, we have so many great pictures and videos on our phone and they are not waterproof! Промахнулись мимо причала, течение большое. Вот, эту лодку поймали, нас поймали, одно унесло и чуть дальше. Но там за поворотом на самом деле не видно. Но все-таки поймали. Это, на, это за, затонуло наполовину. Достает, да. It ended well and it was a truly authentic and exhilarating experience. Уселись во вступ. Before this, I'm like, well, I'll see you, peace. Just be a fun of it.
Как вы сейчас говорите, теперь ваша маленькая, это ваша сухая одежда. Передевайте сухику, маленькие. Дальше вы это будете счастливым. Excited, happy and soaking wet, not figuratively, but quite literally in 100% wet clothes from top to the bottom, we continued our adventure into the heart of the jungle, heading towards the waterfall Cascada Hola Vida. Running ahead, we should say that we remember this hike across the jungle as one of the brightest moments of the whole Ecuadorian trip. Every step was a dance of vibrant life, where nature harmoniously showcases its splendid palette, so overwhelmingly rich in the rampage of colors, textures, leaf patterns and landscape turns. The walking tree, let me explain. For example, this is a new roof. The tree means the minerals from this side grow a new roof up and down, and then push very, very slow. See? Almost one meter per year. Мачо, да. Ну ты спичка. Finally, the waterfall. It's not just beautiful, it's a raw force of nature. Вон там Юля, для масштаба. And guess what? Since we are already soaked, why not take a dip? Там стихия. Мишка, осторожней. Массаж, вот это я понимаю. А вот он водопад. О, отходи, падай. Такая влажность стоит, что верхушки деревьев открыты как в тумане. Приехали обедать. Сейчас нас будут кар... кар... Hard to believe, but all that happened before lunch. Picture this. Enjoying a meal in a local village deep within the Ecuadorian Amazonia. Sounds surreal, doesn't it? We savored barbecued bananas for entry, a hearty local soup, fish baked on banana leaves, and juicy pineapple for dessert. It's like our taste buds had an adventure there. Тщетные попытки просушить рубашку. Time for digestive and a miserable attempt to dry out our clothes while we're heading to the next destination. А сейчас мы идем в деревню, где живут местные жители. Мастерят поделки. While we explored an authentic Amazonian village, it is essential to recognize the delicate balance between authenticity and tourism. The villagers maintain their unique way of life to attract visitors, which supports their livelihood. We engaged in local rituals, we tasted strong spirits, we danced. We even tested our hunting skills by shooting thorns through a hunting pipe. Hey, who's next? It was an unforgettable and unique experience with the local children playing with monkeys like we would play with kittens or puppies and painting unique patterns on our faces, leaving an undeliable mark on our memories. For a longer lasting memory, we bought a couple of local clay dishes that serve us well in our kitchen. Meanwhile, the rain continued. Leaving the village, we realized it wouldn't be a bad idea to warm up our bodies and cheer up our spirits with some doping to get prepared for the next turns of our Amazonian adventure. 
Cheers! Na zdorovie! Вот туда, наверх. The next chapter is swings, which was much more than just swinging. We embarked on an adrenaline-packed adventure at the viewpoint offering breathtaking panoramas of two rivers, Puyo and Pastaza, to meet and continue their way to the great Amazon River. A thrilling hike up the hill led us to a local guy who takes care of the gear you need to put on to finally get on a swing and for several unforgettable moments enjoy this amazing feeling of flight above the abyss and uninterrupted view of the Amazonia. What? By mouth? That was awesome! You made it! You made it! It was a literal high point of the day. Приехали на шоколадную ферму. На ферму какао? Ну да, на ферму какао. Да, Чарли и шоколадная ферма. Our final stop was a local cocoa farm. A must visit even if you are not a chocolate lover or if such a person even exists. Цепочка просто офигенная. Растет вот такой вот плод. Потом его разрубают, достают вот эти вот бабы. Жарят, получается шоколад, добавляют немного сахара, и потом нам продают шоколадку. Очень сложно соотнести шоколадку в шелестящей вот этой фольге с вот этим вот растущим на дереве. С вот этим фи фиолетовым Шоколадки большим бобом. Разрыв шаблона. Witnessing the entire process of chocolate production, from cocoa trees to raw chocolate mass, adds a new layer of appreciation for this beloved tree. It is an educational and sensory experience when you see beautiful cocoa trees, taste fresh cocoa fruits, witness all the stages of hand-making chocolate, roasting beans, cleaning out shelves, grounding and cooling to produce raw chocolate mass. That really transforms the way you perceive the next chocolate bar you buy in a store. These girls are the ones who painted our faces. It suddenly happened. Now we're good. Here, chocolate powder is mixed here. No, not powder, it's a piece of chocolate. From the old chocolate. My name is Pete Chocolate. Принесли вот эти вот так выглядят такие вот лепешечки. Как? Вкусно? Лепешки были настолько вкусные, что мы их съели и уже и только после этого Юля вспомнила, что она их даже не сфотографировала. Чай из а, вот этих вот шкурок волов, мы их шелушили, шелушили, и все вот эти вот шкурки идут потом на заваривание чай. Они немножко немножечко, кажется, сюда добавили. Очень вкусно, освежающе. Сан-фет? Сан-фет? Нет, это просто... Вы Горький, без грамма сахара. Попросили еще лепешечек с собой. Вот, да. И нам продали по доллару за штуку. Очень вкусные лепешечки. It's astonishing how a single day in the Ecuadorian jungle can be packed with so many experiences, emotions and unforgettable moments. The relentless rain couldn't dampen our spirits, 
Ecuador is a land of stark contrasts where one day you can explore tropical jungles in your shorts and the next day hike towards a glacier on a volcano wearing a warm jacket. True story by the way, we really did that the next day, but that is another chapter of our incredible journey through Ecuador. See you in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We have lots of stories to tell you and encourage you to get on an adventure of your own.